Okay, uh, so in this video we're going to talk about the concept of a uh, dense set. Okay, uh, so the concept, uh, well, uh, what it means for a uh, set to be dense uh, within another set. Uh, okay, so uh, if you have a uh, metric space x and d, uh, then uh, you can have another set inside it, so let's say M, uh, which is a uh, subset of X, um, and it doesn't necessarily need to be a proper subset, but it's more interesting if it is a proper subset. Uh, so you've got M, which is a subset of X, and we say that M is dense in X if uh, for all little x is an element of X, um, if uh, basically it's the if every single x is an element of the x, uh, x is a limit point of M, i.e. for all uh, so now fix an x and for all r greater than zero, there exists um, a little m which is an element of big M such that the ball, the open ball around that little point x of radius r uh, contains the element uh, m. So m is an element of this ball. So basically it's saying that uh, if you take any point x which is in the set, and it, which is in the metric space rather, the big metric space x, uh, then uh, whatever size ball you take around that point, uh, you will uh, there will always be a point, there will always be an element of that set which is in uh, the set uh, big M. So whatever size ball you take, I can always find you a little m which is within there, and little m is an element of big M. Okay, so the best way of seeing this, uh, to understand it, is to see the example. And the main example that motivates uh, this entire definition uh, is the real numbers and the rational numbers within them. So let's take the metric space, which is the real numbers with the Euclidean metric on them, and a subset, a proper subset of the real numbers is the rational numbers. So let's say here's zero, so zero is a rational number. We've got one here, two here. Those are all the integers, but we've also got things like a half, uh, minus one, minus a half. All of these rationals are going to be, uh, going to uh, uh, form a subset of the real numbers. So uh, things like the square root of two are not rational numbers. So this is a proper subset of the real numbers. But if you take, if you take uh, an x, which is an element of the real numbers, so pick any element x, which is a real number, and it could be a rational number, it could be an irrational number. Just pick any real number x, and basically consider the ball around x of radius whatever epsilon you like. So consider a ball of radius uh, epsilon, then we've got x minus epsilon over here, and x plus epsilon over here. Then there will always, absolutely always, so this is the interval x minus epsilon to x plus epsilon in the real line, then there will always, absolutely always, be a rational number somewhere within that ball. And the reason is that between any two real numbers, there is always a rational number. Uh, I proved that in the videos on Dedekind cuts. Uh, if you uh, want to see a proof of that, it's uh, I, it's a it's a good proof, um, but there is always a rational number basically between whatever two real numbers you pick. There will is assuredly a rational number in between them. Uh, so uh, by the uh, because of that, because uh, there always exists there always exists a rational number q. Uh, which uh, that's a rational number q, which is an element of the rational numbers, such that q is greater than x minus epsilon and less than x plus epsilon. So there's always a rational number between any two real numbers. It implies that q is going to be an element of this interval, x minus epsilon to x plus epsilon, and another name for that interval is the ball uh, centered at the point x of radius epsilon. So there's always going to be a rational, which is an element of the ball centered at point x of uh, radius epsilon. Uh, so, and that's for whatever x you pick, so for all x is an element of the real numbers, and for all x uh, for all epsilon um, is greater than zero. Okay, uh, so that uh, is the uh, that shows uh, that uh, the rationals are dense in the real line, i.e., dense in real line, i.e., that every real number, uh, every real number is 
a limit point of uh, for the rash for the set of all rationals, uh, and that's the definition of dense.